Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Hey up everyone, hope everyone is well and this is, well this is basically a recap video. Uh, what happened was I tried to do a live stream showing pickups the other day. It, it, it was terrible. <laughs> the actual the recording of it wasn't terrible. You know, I was filming through my laptop camera. Um, now strangely for some reason, I have done live streams before. Um, once with Dainster and another with the TMB lads, uh, which we did as a 10th, 10th podcast, and that seemed to work fine. However, when I when I've actually tried doing it myself, um, I'm, I'm assuming the YouTube compression uh, just absolutely killed it. Um, it was film. It, it, the quality was shocking. I do apologise to everyone. <laughs> There were a few people commenting that, you know, have I filmed this in 1999 <laughs> uh, on a potato camera? Yeah, it was that bad. So I thought, you know what, I know I was trying to do away with the, the editing faff, but yeah, you know, this, this, uh, at the end of the day, this is what it's all about, isn't it? And I know for a fact that this camera is going to give us a bit of de a decent quality video. So basically, I'm just going to whiz through basically what I showed you before. Um, I'm going to obviously I'm going to try to get through it quickly because if you, you were if you've already seen it, but at least you're going to see it in quality. So one of the one of the items I bought off eBay was it's called the Hit Pack and it's on the Commodore 64. As you know, I collect the, the Silverbird range from Firebird, and I saw this. And it's it's quite an oddity, or at least I believe it is. It's by Prism Leisure, and it's not actually officially released by Firebird. I believe these may have bought the rights to these to these four games and released them as a separate compilation, the Hit Pack. Um, interestingly enough, is the one game I'm missing from the Silverbird collection, Cauldron Two. And this is the reason, to be honest, why I bought this. Um, obviously, I can't class that as, you know, as finishing my collection off. This is a completely different, different item. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought it interesting. This was about eight pound ninety nine, but I really liked it. I thought, yeah, that that that's quite an oddity. Um, it's got Ninja Scooter Simulator, European Five Aside. Turbo Boat Simulator and Cauldron Tool The Pumpkin Strikes Back. Uh, four great games on one tape, and that's the hit pack. Um, I have I am actually waiting on a, another delivery of a game, and it contains another four Silverbird games. I believe it's called the Action Pack or something like that. Um, it's by Prism again, but I have seen a Thriller Pack. Um, in the same style of this from Prism, but it doesn't contain the Firebird games. It um, contains games from from other developers, other publishers. So, um, but yeah, that's the hit pack, and that's on tape. There were a few um, items on disc. I'm not really bothered about collecting disc. Uh, it's the tape uh, version that I'm after. Anyway, that's that. Next, uh, this is a cast generator's pickup for the lovely sum of 50 pence. Cast generators in Pontifract are getting shut of all old generation um, games and they are selling them off really cheap. A lot of them are 20 pence, Wii games are 20 pence, PS2. Uh, well, to be honest, there's, there's hardly any left because I bought them all. Um, and the Xbox 360 and the PS3 vary from 20 pence to 50 pence. Now I got this, though I don't collect for Xbox 360, because I have never played a Forza game. And I've seen them and they look absolutely incredible. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna buy this. Uh, my intention is to play it at some point, 
and see you know just how good the Forza series is um, I've heard a lot of good things about them so definitely uh, interested in playing this it's complete so a bargain for 50 pence um, this is right let me sort this out I am collecting um, a subset for the PS2 uh, by Blast Blast is it's actually a Mastertronic, formerly Mastertronic. Um, they did about 15 games for the PS2, and like the likes of Phoenix, uh, the rubbish. <laughs> the games were not very well received, in all honesty. This is Top Gun, and to be honest, I'm doing pretty well with this sub subset. I'm very nearly co uh, completed it. I've got a couple more bids on eBay for some of the other titles and I reckon I'm down to the last few then to get hold of. The beauty of it is there is always um, a game on there from the list. It's not like any of them are rare or hard to get. They're all on there. They're, one of the games is trending at about £25 at the moment so that might be my last buy. Uh, to finish the collection off. We'll see. But well, this is Top Gun and it looks like an Afterburner style game. Um, albeit probably a pretty bad one. It is complete obviously. Single condition. So that is Top Gun as part of the Blast subset. And Blast did actually did a lot of kiddie games, kiddie based games from uh, TV shows and stuff and this is one of them this is Bob the Builder um, it's more of a it's, it's well it says the eye toy uh, camera use is required so obviously little kids can interact with the game if you like and be part of the game I suppose as you can see from those those screenshots yep yeah, it's complete obviously it's complete I wouldn't have bought it if it won't um, but yeah it's in good condition so like I said um, I'm picking those off uh, really well at the moment the blast titles here's the fail now you, you probably remember from the attempted live stream it's this Sunset Orange PlayStation 4 DualShock controller wireless controller um, from first appearances it all looks fine and dandy uh, however it isn't <laughs> it's absolute garbage um, it looks nice enough and all it is going to be useful for is looking pretty on the shelves at my lockup it is a third party um, I, I think I paid it for £33 and I, I knew, you know, I, don't get me wrong, I didn't, I didn't get it thinking, oh, that's cheap for an official controller. Brilliant, I've got that. I, you know, I kind of knew. Um, but there's, there's always that hope that perhaps, you know, I'm going to get lucky and, and really find a bargain. No, obviously not. If you can see straight away the problem is that PS button. Look how slanted it is, how wonky it is. It's on Fandangle. The look of it, you know, it looks it looks fine. However, once once you start playing, I did give it a try. Uh, it's it's absolutely terrible. It's it's really unresponsive. Um, how anybody can play with one of these, I have no idea. People maybe buying for for little kids, so they're not bothered if they really get destroyed quickly for the price. But God, even kids would struggle to to enjoy playing the games with this. I'll give you an example, the thumbsticks. Um, on an official control, as soon as you move that thumbstick, you're moving. This, it's like you move it, nothing happens, then you move it again, nothing happens. There's a lot of play in it before you actually reach, you know, the censoring part of it, and then your character, in a game like COD. <laughs> so, you know, you really can't, you can't play it, it's ridiculous. Uh, I played about three minutes with this controller on COD to test it out and I'm like, nah, that is shite, it's shite. Anyway, 
back to cash generators and this was 4 99 it's um, it's yeah it's just a PS1 controller uh, they stick these horrible stickers on some come off easily enough which I believe that one is sometimes if they've been on a while they're, they're a bugger to get off anyway um, I would have bought this anyway but the reason I bought it look at the thumbsticks the, these are concave is it concave I think Tooty had uh, recently got confused with concave and convex concave I'm sure of it um, now I, I can't I still can't see the model number I, I attempted to look for it on the last video and I didn't um, but yeah it's not often you see these um, these PS PlayStation 1 controllers with the indented or concave thumbsticks so yeah it's just going to be get cleaned up and put in my collection I don't own one of these with those thumbsticks it's a nice little controller everything feels fine on it it all appears to be working uh, perfectly there's no way cast generators have tested this anyway um, I'm pretty sure of that I do have uh, an item coming from Wooly Weeble, it's it's part of my Call of Duty subset um, and I can't wait to show you that um, it, because I would I would say that that one is the hardest probably the hardest one to to get for that for that subset but that is on its way I was talking to to Wooly Duncan on over email uh, or WhatsApp sorry and he, he asked if I were interested in any PSP games and although I was collecting for them at one one time I've got quite quite a decent collection for them including the UMD movies um, I'm not really actively seeking PSP at the moment so I said you know thanks for off but I'm not like bothered and I got to work and the following day and I got a phone call from one of the employees who actually were on his day off and he says are you still collecting old systems and what have you? I says yeah 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 he says I might have something for you if you're interested I says what is it? <laughs> he said it's a PSP with 17 games I says right and I, I honestly thought straight away saying to Duncan you know I'm not bothered about and I said, well, how much do you want for it? Because I thought if it's, you know, if he's asking a lot, then I'm really not bothered. He says, you can have it. <laughs> I'm like, right, I'll take it. <laughs> You're going to do it, aren't you? You know. Um, so I've acquired a PSP and 17 games. You know what? I haven't looked through it. I'll be honest, I haven't looked through it yet. I got it home. It's been in the hallway and... Um, I thought actually while I'm doing this uh, recap I might as well show you this PSP now it's quite a weighty bag, it's quite a flimsy bag actually carry about with all this weight it's in this I've got to be honest it's a horrible looking case I know it's a protective case but I think it's ghastly Um, don't even know how to open it up how the heck do you open it up Uh, I can't even open it up so but yeah it's in this case oh let's I'm just trying to turn it on it, it, it has turned on but there must be a way of getting into this Just heard it. Just heard it bleed the start. Up. I'm gonna turn it off, obviously, because um, but yeah, <laughs> I can't get into it. No idea. Is that the hinge there? That must be the hinge. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean. Right. Yeah, yeah. That covered the screen. So that's that's the case. I'll be honest, I don't like that. Um, 
I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to clean it up and then, and then uh, but I, I won't be using that. Um, let's try again. So we do have we do have power. We do have uh, a working. We do have a working PSP. Um, I'm sure they want to give me a, a dud one anyway. Um, the model number is. It's a 3003. If that means anything to you, it means nothing to me. Uh, is there anything in the. Uh, what's that? Now, there's no game inside it, but obviously. Uh, we've got the charger. So charge it up so let's get on to the games and stuff or whatever films maybe so we've got dynasty warriors is this this is a battlefield area system so it's not actually like the one-on-one -on -one fighter is it I think it's more of a um, tactical strategy based one I don't know <laughs> we've got Lego Indiana Jones I'm assuming that it They've all got the manuals and stuff because uh, I imagine Simon does take care of, the, of his stuff. He is a gamer, he is a gamer, oh, not particularly, a, you know, there's no instructions in that. Everybody's golf, I think he's more the uh, current generation. We've got Ridge Racer, I nearly said Rogue Racer then. Ridge Racer, actually looks really good really good that on from a screenshot I've never played this on the PSP but it does look nice we've got Pursuit Force um, maybe a Chase HQ type type of game don't know anything about that I've never heard of it we've got World Snooker Challenge um, that's by Sega. Puzzle collection. Oh, I do like my crosswords. I do like my crosswords a lot. This is probably crosswords, word search, fit word, crosswords, Sudoku, and word search. Um, crossword being my favourite there. Uh, we've got World Poker Tour. I think I've got this already on PSP. Not a poker player. <coughs> no idea how to play it this is on the platinum range this is need for speed undercover need for speed series then we've got sonic rivals 2 sonic the hedgehog never heard of this one looks like a racing game fired up um, looks like you can drive buggies and uh, trucks and stuff then we've got Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories I think I've already got this I may have had this gifted actually recently but uh, I can't remember and apologies to whoever it was that sent me it but it was either Rob Gernaldino plays or Nath, Nath Retro 1 um, if I'm not mistaken if I am mistaken my deepest apologies to whoever did send me it uh, Gran Turismo it's just that yeah not a prologue or anything like that it's Gran Turismo another Grand Theft Auto this is Vice City Stories love the Grand Theft Auto series love the Grand Theft Auto soundtracks brilliant I'm always playing uh, Grand Theft, the original Grand Theft Auto soundtrack on, uh, on YouTube um, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, 5105, whatever that stands for. I'm assuming by the look of that cover you can play as the racer or the police. Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, well this is uh, an exclusive to the PSP, Bloodlines. I can't remember that title on the PS3 or 4. Um, I've never been a big fan of Assassin's Creed if I'm honest um, Joe loves the series absolutely loves the series and we've got 
Oh, we just had that. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories on the Platinum. On the Platinum. Yes. Right. Well, that's good. That goes into the PSP Platinum section. So I've got. I've got one for the normal collection and one for the platinum collection as well. Um, yeah, I do collect platinums for the the other systems, like um, not the PS1 though, um, the PSP. What is it on PS3? Not, there's two in there. There's essentials. Yeah, there's platinum, of course there is. Uh, and then obviously my PS2, which is my main platinum collection. But yeah, I'm I'm really pleased with that for free. You know. Uh, you, can't grumble at that. So that's another PSP to my collection. I do already own about five. <laughs> so does anybody need one? <laughs> I've got loads. Um, well, that is it, I think. I don't think I've got anything else to show you. Oh, I did mention the PS4, didn't I? I bought PS4 from Cash Gens for £100. It said it had a noisy fan, um, which it, it did. Uh, it was very noisy. Um, I have cleaned it down, stripped it down. I'm having problems with the opt optical drive at the moment. I need a replacement optical drive, I believe. Uh, when I'm going to get that, I don't know. I also bought a PS3 the other week, and that was £35. The fault on the ticket was controller being unresponsive. When I looked, when I actually did the live stream, that was the first time I'd had it out of the bag. It turns out the controls are third party one anyway. So um, whether I even bother with that or just throw it away, I don't know. Uh, I have got spares, official spares, official controls to go with that anyway. Um, the system itself looks, looks pretty clean. So I'm not even sure I'm gonna bother stripping that down. I just need to test it, obviously. I'm sure that will have been tested, it should have been, uh, but yeah obviously I need to know if it reads discs, because knowing cash gens, if they've been busy they could have just fired it up, you know, yeah that works, uh, without testing the disc drive. I, I would hope that they do test disc drives and, and what have you. <coughs> so anyway, um, so yeah I've got a PS3 system and a PS4 system. Um, to look into but that is it for now like I said I do have stuff on order coming up is a day out with Peak Fighter 2 and possibly Eddie Rollercore uh, we're going to Sheffield and we're going to hit all the game shops uh, Pete's going to lead the way I don't know my way around Sheffield but there's a couple of shops in the city centre and he says there's a few on the outskirts, so we're gonna we're gonna have a good day, uh, game hunting. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're really looking forward to that. That's on the 21st, Monday the 21st. Um, so I'll probably wait till then to do another pickups, proper pickups. Um, but in the meantime, you probably will see maybe one or two more music map pie, one for sort of two for joy videos. But anyway, that's the that's the that's a pickup recap. Probably as long as a normal pickup video, to be honest. <laughs> but, but I did have a, a, an extra bit to show you. So, anyway, until the next pickups video, um, thank you for watching and see you later.